Hey everyone, welcome to Hillside Harvest Homestead. So I have a video today that is way past due. Um, I was not able to get it uh, uploaded to my computer and edited and then uploaded to YouTube. So um, it's just taken me quite a while and I apologize for that. It's been forever and a day since I have uploaded a video. Um, so we've had a lot going on. Winter time is really hard for me to upload videos. Uh, just because I can't do anything outside um, and then my camera is or my phone is old and the battery's old so it only lasts maybe a couple minutes outside anyways and I don't have a whole lot of things that I could do inside um, as far as video goes but I mean I just got to be creative so anyways um, without further ado this is the video that I caught um, of our cow Annabelle having um, birth or giving birth. I did not get to catch the birth of our second cow, Lilibel. Um, she ended up giving birth uh, like three or four days after Annabelle did. And um, it was one of those things where I was gone in the morning, came back in the afternoon, went out to look at her in the field, and she had just had her calf out there in the field. So. Um, but anyways, I did catch Annabelle, and this is the video, so enjoy. All right, so today we have Annabelle in the stall. Um, her teats have filled out quite a bit. Um, she is engorged. Her bag is nice and hard. Um, and now the teats are filled out. Um, so, and then... She is so hard to see with her being dark, but <laughs> you bless me. She is dipped in here quite a bit next to her pins. Um, so the reason that I brought her in this morning, um, she's had off and on, both the cows have had some discharge, but this morning it was just a little thicker, a little bit more. So I brought her in and so now we have this discharge. So, I'm thinking I brought her in at a good time. She is uh, five days past due. And then Lilibel, oh, she's out there waiting. <laughs> she is two weeks past due. So, not sure when she's gonna come. Um, the owners said that she was due. Her previous owner said that she was due um, back two weeks ago, but I don't know. They got the date wrong or, um, I don't know, you know, sometimes they just go past due. So, but Annabelle has looked a lot more, there you can see quite a bit her pin sticking out from that position right there. Um, anyways, Annabelle has looked a lot closer to her, to being able to calf than, um, Lilibelle. So, so pretty sure we're on our way yay yay so so I was wrong again a little bit kind of sort of um, it's a day later so she lost her mucus plug yesterday which is what that was but if you see her rate hello her tail is a bit raised today um, and she does have some more discharge so um, so I just walked watched her turn her around in a circle um, and her tail was fully raised and she had hunched her back so obviously we're, that's a we're pretty darn close so anyways I am there looks like a contraction looks like she's gonna go to the bathroom so she's got her back hunched Good girl, Annabelle. Kitty, would you move, please? Good girl.
two legs and a head, so that's a really good position. Done yet there. Good job.
It's a little boy. I got him already fed on a bottle. So he's doing great. So he's gotten that colostrum that he needs. And he was up and ready to eat it right away. So I'll probably give him a little bit more. Hi, baby. You're doing great. Mama's doing good. She, uh, I've given her some grain. And she's drank some water already. Okay, so, uh, <clears throat> yeah, this is uh, normal. She has passed the afterbirth. Well, oh, and I'm going to gag. This, like, is seriously... Oh, oh. I have a strong stomach, but there are a few things I can't handle, and uh, that seems to be one of them. Ugh. <laughs> Just no. I, it's it's a great thing, you know. They were designed this way uh, for a reason. I know it's good for them. It's healthy. They get nutrients back and stuff. <clears throat> Ugh, but, uh, ugh, ugh, that's just, you know, like, I can't even watch. I, this is not the first time I've seen this, okay? This is like, it's different with goats, though, like with smaller animals, ugh, because it's not as big, <laughs> ugh. Oh. Ugh. But she's just like going at it, and you saw just a small portion of that because, oh, <laughs> the stuff that she was eating before that was huge, and I'm thinking, holy cow, can you seriously just chew that, or are you just? Doing the chewing motion and sucking it out. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh, just no. This is so gross. I'm glad for you. I'm glad it's good for you. And I'm glad you can stomach that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nope. <laughs> So, you know, like I can, I can stomach a lot of things. I can stomach a lot of things. I have seen a lot of things. Being an EMT, I have seen a lot of things. But puke and obviously a cow eating its afterbirth are two things. Blech. Nope, can't do. Look, so I just came out here because I was going to milk her out. And uh, get some more colostrum for baby. Well, and that's what I walked into. Is <laughs> big string of stuff hanging out of her mouth, and I was like, Bleh! "Gross! That's nasty." Yeah, but it's part of it. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for joining us here at Hillside Harvest Homestead to experience the birth of our new bull calf. And remember to like and subscribe and come back for more videos. We will see you on the next one. Hope that you have an absolutely wonderful day.